What's up guys, it is Wyatt, and today we're back with some new content that's a little bit out of the norm for the channel. Usually I'd be here in the garage working on the C10 race truck. As you can see, we're making quite a bit of progress on it behind the scenes. I've got a video on that coming very soon. But until then, I've actually teamed up with a good friend of mine, Ryan, to help him on his LS swapped BMW E30. I'm gonna go out there and introduce you guys to him in just a minute. Uh, he's been a big help to me with the truck and just being a good friend ever since we moved down here to Florida. So I wanna help him get his car dialed in and it's gonna be freaking awesome once it is all done. Uh, just a couple quick updates for you guys. Behind the scenes, I've been trying to accumulate a whole bunch of parts for the truck as well as just make progress on it. So a couple little things, we got a new finger brake here. This is a 48 inch finger brake by Clutch. Uh, this is gonna help us with the firewall and floor pans, which we're gonna be starting on very soon. Also, pick me up a new transmission. This here is a 4L80E. That's what we're actually gonna be running in the truck. And along with that, I picked up two transfer cases to make the whole deal work. So some big updates coming on the truck very soon. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. But today, I hope you guys show us some love on this video as we're gonna be working on Ryan's E30. So let's go out to the shop and show you guys what we got going on. Buddy, it's a hot one in Florida. That's freaking toasty. Yeah, anyways, hungover, hot, working on the E30. Yeah. For you guys that don't know, this here is Ryan. Freaking kind of stalked us when we moved down here and you know, yeah. ended up sometimes. ended up being a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> it helps that I live like half a mile down the road. Yeah, it is pretty legit. It's like a two minute drive. So this is Ryan's LS swapped BMW E30. Yep. It's called the Warhawk. Yep, it's been done for, I say done, it was running for like, oh well, like six months or something, and uh, we just need more power. Yes, I, don't know. It's I fun. agree. It's fun at like what two fifty three hundred. Right. LS one makes. It was enough to break axles. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I didn't like that. Now, so. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, so it's got, it's got everything to hold more power other than axles. It's right. Like TR sixty sixty trans, uh, full sicky kit for the LS. Like, it, it's ready. We just got to put power in it. So. Yep. So we're gonna put two big fat turbos out of the hood. Yeah. Should be fun. Yeah. A little bit more about the car is it's on airbags, so it like stances out pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Ryan did all the work on it. Turned out pretty good. <laughs> had some help it might, on it it might be a little shoddy but you know that's why it's worked so. oh wow okay <laughs> had some help on it from spinny whoosh and sicky yeah. yep them There's guys a um a few new people coming on yep got we got some, some cool stuff. stuff coming in boy yep snake eater got on board with it yeah. so we'll go over that probably in the next video today is mainly just trying to get the radiator and intercooler mounted up in the front of this thing so that's what we've been working on this morning. We actually went ahead, or Ryan went ahead. I ain't doing none of the, <laughs> the, the bitch work today. I'm too, I'm too hung over for this. So he went ahead, got all this cross member stuff caught out, cut out of the way. And uh, like I said, we're getting ready to mount the radiator and intercooler up in here. Uh, we did all that, had to make some more room for all that stuff. So we're gonna get that going. The intercooler's right over here. A uh, double end tank deal to a vertical flow, to a single outlet radiator there a whole bunch of other miscellaneous parts for it got pretty much everything ready some tiny uh gt 30s 35s 35s some yeah. gt 35 cast wheel turbos yep. should light up pretty quick make some decent power yeah. also picked up a bunch of stainless because we're actually going to be building a set of tube header or not tube but log manifolds for it yeah so like the typical ls flip them and run turbos on it just wouldn't work Yep, There's just no didn't have there. enough room. Yeah, so we're going to have to custom make some stuff. Yep, that's all going to be in the build series, though. <laughs> we're just starting to really get into this. Hopefully have it done, like, in two weeks. They're trying to do... Yeah, for, like, my gender reveal. Yep. A big burnout with it, so... Trying to do a big old Hopefully reveal with it. it. Oh, it'll get there. Yeah. So, we got a lot of work to do, but this thing is pretty rad. Hope you guys enjoy it in the videos. I just want to see when it's done, go do some cool stuff with it, like dyno it and... Yeah go race it whatever i'm excited it's like i i can put things together i can buy a kit and like put the motor in but like fab work and stuff i've never done it so yeah I'm you ought to see this dude's mig welds they're beautiful buddy. Get out of here. <laughs>
They look like bubble gum yeah. slapped on there. It's not pretty. I'm excited though. <laughs> nah, it's pretty legit. So that's what we're going to start on this morning. And we'll film some more as we get it going. Anything else you got to say? Nope. Sick introduction, bro. Yep. Okay. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> let's do it. All right. So 24 hours in. We don't have much to show for it, but we're making a little bit of progress. We cut a hole. We did cut a hole. Cut a we hole. test fit this three inch intercooler pipe. Welded some supports Some in. supports, yeah, we got those welded in. That's what? Don't look too close, don't get close. Ryan was filming, they look good from this angle. <laughs> Ryan was filming that earlier. We just did these little supports here because we ended up cutting out a ton of the front of the car. So like this whole core support deal that came down and across here, we cut it out to make more room for the intercooler. We got some new square stock that's gonna go in there to replace that to kind of tie both front frame rails back together and also just give us some better mounting points for the radiator and intercooler, yeah, which hopefully to, we'll do tonight. Try to tuck the radiator back a little bit too. Oh, yeah. And, and shift it down so we can go. Yeah, so we had to intake. lower it. We're gonna be, we'll, we'll get into it more later, but there's some modification we gotta do the radiator too. So getting rid of all that is just gonna help us in the future here. Uh, so I think for tonight, we're actually gonna try and get the radiator test fitted in here, mm -hmm. start building this new lower uh, core, core support, support deal, yeah. and then maybe start mounting up the intercooler as well. Yeah, all that so we can try to figure out where the turbos go. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably gonna end in disaster, but nah, we'll get right. there. put Ryan on the old TIG welder. First, First time, time ever TIG welding. Yeah. And we're gonna see how badly he can mess this up. Probably pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. I, I gave him a pretty hard joint, no lie. A butt weld on the outside of the pipe. So we'll see how he does. Probably gonna burn through it or stick it. I'm gonna try not to stick it. God damn it. So that was a fucking lie. <laughs> I don't wanna have to try right. <laughs> It'll start automatically when you push? Yep, press the pedal. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stick it. Yep, hold it. <laughs> it's a whole ass ordeal. Bring this bitch down, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's sharpen the tungsten, get you over, try again. Let that thing cool down, son. Yeah, so were you full pedal that whole time? No, at first I wasn't. You need to be. Yeah. Get in the heat. As soon as I went full pedal, like right there, it actually started melting yeah. down. Yeah, so just right off the bat, just get it started and then roll in the heat full pedal okay. and then back off as you yeah, need. Yeah, once you get hot, yeah. back off. Yeah, but you can back off even right away if it's too hot, but you got to get the heat in there first. Okay. So yeah, we'll sharpen that. We'll try again. Yep. All right, we're going to give her a second try. Got the tungsten sharp. Yep. Let's see how she does. Yep. If you hear a 6-0 in the background, that's old Johnny boy leaving. That's just the jet plane. Man, I'll tell you, trying to get the hose comfortable that's that's hard yep i'll show you a trick a little later that'll help you with that i can't see how close i am nope mother <laughs> trying to get this thing so you guys can see through it but it's not wanting to work Yeah. 
This is uh, it's not, not easy. as easy as you make it look. Yeah, man. it's a lot easier to start on some flat plates on the welding bench. Yeah. Trust. Got, this is uh, not the... A lot of respect for you and Hayden now. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad. That'll hold. You know, it's not a pretty weld, but it is fused and filled. Didn't melt all the way through the bottom. Yep. Well, so we got the radiator mounted. Yup. Looks pretty good. It does. Simple it's scrap metal. Knocked her out real quick. Better than it was. Yeah, so now <laughs> intercooler. Yep. Found should... these tabs laying around. Some more scrap metal. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. Yeah, I can throw these on there. Should be pretty close to where they need to be. A little big, but we might find a rib nut that fits those and just throw a bolt in them. Yeah. So it would make it a lot easier than cutting tabs out. I think they are pretty close. Let's get to work. Well, intercooler's mounted. You know what I should do? I should name the channel T-Fab. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're only three deep, so it's fine. So yeah, everything's mounted up. I'm just trying to get charge piping Buddy. lined up. Yeah, she looks pretty good. It's like almost money. Make it work with just some Buddy. couplers. Couple couplers, bead roll it. Call it a day. Yep, just need to chop this guy down a little bit. Got a measurement. You got that other adapter. Mm, yeah. Buddy, our freaking one charge pipe is going to be done here in yep. like five minutes. And then uh, start mounting some turbos. That'll probably be tomorrow's project. Start kind of mocking up the manifolds. Yeah. You know, once that's kind of done, then I mean, we're pretty close. Like, once the manifolds are done. Yeah. Well, the, the logs themselves are take a minute. Yeah, it take probably two, three nights. Yeah, there's not much room in there, and working no. with Schedule 40, it's schedule gonna be pretty 10. tight. Schedule 10? It's all Schedule 10. Oh, damn, that's some thick no. shit, dude. No, Schedule 40 is thicker. Really? Yep. Oh, Schedule 40 is thicker. Schedule 10 is a little thinner. The re I'd like to go with Schedule 40, but everywhere is like on back order right now. So, mm. Schedule 10 is what I could get. Schedule 10 is what we're gonna use. It should hold. It'll be fine. Yeah. All right, so we got that intercooler pipe in there, yep. looking pretty legit. We also went ahead and lowered the radiator a little bit more to give us a little more room between the intercooler pipe. And we also pushed it outside overnight. As you can see, it's raining like a sieve now. Yeah. Put the hood on it and it fits underneath the hood. So that's one less thing we're gonna have to cut holes for, which is nice. Yeah, just so, two yeah. compressor housing sticking out. It's gonna be great. It's be pretty legit. Yeah. So what are we working on tonight? Manifolds? Shit. Come on. I guess. You can do it. Kind of mock them up. Yeah, mock them up. All the material showed up, so at least there's that. Nice. Yeah, we could just try to get like placement. See where we're putting the turbos. Yeah. So I think, like, there. Something like that. Depends how far you want them out of the hood. About halfway, maybe. Four. Yeah. So. I hope you just don't care that they're perfectly flat, because no. <laughs> I don't want to put a cut on those. But we'll do it like Kevin from KSR. And String across, right. make sure they're level. Just eyeball it, call it a day. No, we're doing it Wyatt style. Which is? Eyeball it, it's probably going to be close to perfect. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in my skill. But yeah, look pretty good. Um, one thing we do need to do, do we were kind of looking at it earlier, we need to mock up that other side turbo and see how it's going to fit over here. Because because they're not mirror image we're gonna have to like clock this pipe totally different on this side yeah so hopefully like we have these, enough room we can come through all of this so we can clock yeah it no i'm not worried about that room. i'm worried about the exhaust housing oh yeah because yeah, yeah. now we're gonna have to clock it to kind of make room over there Yeah, but we can clock the turbo 45 to go back this way yeah and that'll be fine yeah but, i'm just ooh. wondering if we need to like clock this like that oh, I you see. know i see kind of get us a little better angle on there yeah but i guess we'll see Probably won't film it, but we're gonna go ahead and mock some stuff up. Maybe give her a couple tack welds. Yep. See how she looks. Be back in five minutes. More like two seconds. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <horror. laughs> Something like that. Not bad. Not the prettiest, not the ugliest. Thanks, it work. Yeah. Trim that up a little bit more. Build a little piece to go in between the two. Yeah. Do the same for these. Pretty legit. Yep. We didn't film it, but we should probably throw this on the car real quick and show them what we got going on. Freaking LS Swap D30 Turbo Manifold, baby. 
better not see these bad boys on eBay. What you talking about? The whole car's getting mm -hmm. traded for a jet a boat. Jet boat. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys, uh, if you have a jet boat for trade, yeah. in DM, twin turbo LS swap E30 <laughs> coming right up. <laughs> and then this will go something like this. Obviously yeah. that'll be up there. I think it's about the perfect, perfect angle. Yeah, it should work pretty good like that, honestly. I can't hold the turbo too. I'm weak. I got little arms. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, Ooh. I think. Not exactly like. Right? Oh, they're heavy for some China boys. Something like that. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the perfect height. We'll stick them out of both sides. Yeah. Heck yeah, brother. Sick, my guy. Yeah. But it's late. I'm going to bed. It is late. <laughs> I appreciate Freaking the late nights. Yeah. It's dark. <laughs> Gotta love those after hour freaking shenanigans. Yep. You got T's to keep you going though. Yep. Alright. Yeah, that's where we'll leave off. You know, another two weeks worth of late nights, we'll have some manifolds, bro. Eh, maybe. <laughs> nah, I think at we this rate started a little earlier. Yeah. We didn't start till like nine. <laughs> <laughs> at this rate, maybe a week or two. Yeah. To like get them mocked up where we need them. Um, like I mean, turbos turbos at least hung and then we figure out exhaust another time maybe because we got honestly, some honestly i think we could have them kind of propped and ready to go in a week i think so mounted i think so i think exhaust is gonna be the hard part yeah so we got some plans for, we got some your, plans for that well that i think <laughs> for your uh your little reveal deal we might end up just doing a little yeah well just to get it going yeah but then okay we could do no hood for the reveal yeah that's fine I mean, That's at fine. least it would kind of be running. And, yeah. So like, because we you got the idea. Tune it. I mean, you know? do we though? It's Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Holly. O2 correction. Holly will tune itself, O2 brother. O2 correction, all the things. Hold that turbo up there. So here's the plan, right? It's gonna be difficult. Whole we have to. A lot of bullshit. A whole lot of pie cuts is what it is. Yeah. So we're gonna have to come out, down, back. And then out of the fender, like an airplane. Yeah. Like a P40. I mean, it's got a, you know. I think it's uh, got a match. I think what I'm gonna do for you is the uprights. And then let me do the exhaust. Let you do the exhaust. Bro, you've seen me weld. You wanted to weld. <laughs> you, here's your chance. You have seen me weld. Cut to the clip. <laughs> Lord. No, I think I'm gonna try. Well, Hayden will be down here. Yeah, we'll scumbag luck. Hayden into doing Sweet some stuff. Talking him, he'll hit you with twenty five hundred bucks. I ain't doing it. I'd pay him twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah, I ain't paying you though. <laughs> I actually have this thing I have to do the rest of the month. <laughs> actually, so all right, all right. Well, I mean, dude, progress so far is yeah, it's getting there. It's coming along. It's been what three days? Yeah, real time. Like three nights. Yeah, three honestly. like late nights of starting at eight o'clock <laughs> buddy <laughs> i keep looking down i'm at the short camera. okay I keep looking down at the camera it's like straight grabbing my chest well, this is actual me, height <laughs> here we go that's better i know this is a wide angle but, but uh look up at the lens. not that wide angle that's wide angle mm -hmm. yeah right. not to get all of me in there i'm a big boy wow. but yeah we're making progress three not literally enough. three nights of work we haven't yeah. really spent Probably a full day 12 hours total. yeah not too shabby. Amount. I mean, even that sounds pretty pathetic. We, we spend a lot of the time drinking teas and, yeah. you know, chilling. Hang with We're the getting homies, there. You know? Yeah. You think we should end the video there? Yeah. Do another video about building the manifolds or what? Yeah. You think? I think so. Yeah. Let's make this like a four part series. I'm about it. All right. Like probably Come back two next time. or three. <laughs> <laughs> Did we already tell them about our boy Snake Eater? Next time. All right. Wait till we start doing fuel stuff. Yeah, we got a really cool deal with them going on. So yeah. that'll all be in the next video. Today was what? Mounting the intercooler, kind of getting a game plan, introducing the car. Yeah, there's they a lot be more solid. to it. I'm sure once we get it up in the air, we can talk about it more. There's, yeah. there's a ton of stuff that's already happened and that needs to happen to this car. So this isn't the first thing. Like the turbos are going to go on and then we're going to break everything else. And then we fix it. So Hey, look at me. Your eyes. Yeah. Why? <laughs> you got to look into the camera. Tell the people I know. Oh, yeah. Tell the people. All right. That is where we're going to leave off for this video. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure to drop a comment down below. Me and Ryan kind of went on a limb.
trying to put this together. Yeah. Trying to film it and whatnot, bring well, you guys I mean, a little different be, content. It's gonna be different. Yeah. Which, different's fine, right? Yeah. Like, it's definitely gonna be truck cool. Stuff, truck stuff is awesome. Yeah. Especially like his truck is, is insane, and it's been insane for like five different renditions since I've known wow. him. Wow. Thank you. Thank you I very mean, much. It's been like six months, and it's it's changed five times. <laughs> That's cool though. Like it's gonna be fast. This is gonna be like nuts, and then we're gonna break it. And, and we're going to put a built motor it, in it. And we're going to put a K. No, stop that. <laughs> I want my man. We'll I want my it. turbo we'll kit back. It. We'll build it. I'm fine. All right. We'll build it. We'll get, a, yeah. we'll get an iron block. We'll get a 6.0, and then we'll build it. Don't even start with a 6.0. We're going to go pick up a 5.3 junkyard motor, uh, Gen 4. Rev it to 9. Rev it to 75, 8, rev and make 1,000 horsepower. Rev it to 9. It's, it's <laughs> got right. built heads. It's got 243 heads. It'll be all right. Yeah, okay. All yeah. Right. All right. Next video. Yes. We'll see you later. All right. That's where we're going to leave off. Like I said, if you guys do like this content, make sure to let us know down below. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not. All that good stuff. And we will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.